Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome to Ultraman Orb Origin Saga Reviews. Today I'm reviewing episodes 3 and 4. I'm kind of annoyed right now because I need to go sleep in a little bit. And uh, there was a big cliffhanger in episode 4. I'm just like, oh no. What, why now? Of all times. Why now? How dare you? I gotta wait. I gotta wait to see the next episode. That's just, that's, that's, that, that, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. But yeah, um, it's interesting so far. Um, uh, juggler and guy they, they, they say two women uh, who are stuck on their ship uh, they're trying to look for their captain who who they think has betrayed them but actually hasn't so they save these women from planet Kanon um, from Bemstar uh, guy finally manages a way to, uh, to defeat Bemstar juggler's like finally <laughs> you took too long mate I just love how they're still friends at this point but uh, <laughs> you can tell he's kind of like slowly turning into uh, someone who's jealous like you can already see it in his face sometimes uh, what what was pretty scary though was in episode four because uh, I keep forgetting the Kaiju's name. Flipping Bezelb, <laughs> Bezelb. Uh, they infected Juggler, um, and seeing this angry, angry, maniacal, possessed Juggler was kind of terrifying. <laughs> he was terrifying in uh, the Orb show. Uh, he was even more terrifying uh, in. I mean, I, maybe not. Maybe not. I guess it was just giving a glimpse of what he was going to become at some point in, in the Orb show. But uh, yeah, he was uh, pretty terrifying. Uh, but um, luckily, I, I keep forgetting this. Shinra. Shinra. I, forget, I keep forgetting his name. Luckily, he had the uh, the, the cure on his neck uh, to, to stop Juggler. There's some new information about Queen Amati, which uh, I thought was quite interesting. So uh, the scientist isn't just obsessed with this queen. Of Queen uh, Queen Amati of uh, Planet Kanon, she wants her blood to experiment. Apparently, um, apparently she could become a war god, which I assume is a god of war, <laughs> like I don't know, like Kratos or Ares. I don't know. Um, which is ironic because she wants peace. She doesn't want to go to war. She wants to avoid it, uh, she, but she will if she has to. So the fact that someone like that, someone who doesn't really want war could become a war god in the future is just like well that's an interesting development so the scientist uh, finds a way to get to her guards uh, she has her guards that she trusts uh, Shinri, uh, Shinra, her, her captain, uh, is nowhere to be seen because obviously the, those two women and uh, Juggler and Guy, they rescued Shinra uh, they, thought he, they thought he betrayed them but he didn't he was just uh, imprisoned and kidnapped so he was away now and uh, the scientists managed to uh, get her guards to try and hunt her down but the episode 4 ends of her running in the forest it's almost like she knew <laughs> she knew something was wrong so she kind of runs away in the episode and I'm just like how dare you end it there? But uh, on to uh, a more exciting note. Uh, seeing Cosmos and Dinah was uh, was pretty fun. Um, when Dinah first, when, when Aska, you just hear Aska's voice and Aska's calling Cosmos like, I, I didn't recognize him either because I haven't watched Cosmos yet. So I didn't recognize this guy. I'm just like, who's Aska? First, I'm just like, oh, that's Aska, Aska. Then I'm just like, who's Aska talking to? Who's this guy? And then he said, Cosmos, I'm just like, ah, ah, oh, that makes sense. Uh, when I start Cosmos, it will make more sense to me. But uh, over then, it, uh, back then he was just like, Cosmos, I'm just like, oh, okay. I was sitting there thinking, who is this guy? Oh, it's Cosmos. Okay, that, that makes sense. I will know him soon. Uh, don't worry, I will know him soon. Um, and then you actually see Asuka, because Asuka arrives first. Dinah arrives first to help, uh, help Ultraman Orb. Um, and it's really awesome to see. It's, it's, it kind of feels nostalgic, even though I watched it like a, like last year. <laughs> it, it just it just felt great to uh, see uh, Diana team up with a guy like that. That was cool. And then you actually see Asuka in human form. Because I mentioned last review that like it feel, kind of feels like Ultra Galaxy, just like with longer episodes. In Ultra Galaxy, you don't get the human versions of the you don't get the human host. You just get the Ultraman. Um, in this one. You see Asuka <laughs> in human form talking to Guy, and I think that was uh, that was really awesome. I, li I like the hair as well. I'm digging the hair. I, I, I think it works for him. Um, but yeah, that, that was cool to see. And then uh, Cosmos is on the way as well, so he's he's still. They kind of need him help, need his help. And then uh, obviously the episode is over, so I don't know what happens next. But Cosmos is is he's still on the way. But yeah, it seems like the scientist's plan is not not only does he want her blood. 
but he wants to transform Queen Amate into the war god it seems like he wants to accelerate that process for whatever reason so I I'm intrigued to know why <laughs> like is there something he knows that they don't I'm very curious about that and also uh, there was the um, there was the guy on earth because earth is um, I mean they're not on earth but the earth is very far away from where they are and uh, this person Shohei I think his name is um, he finds, um, so him and his two scientist friends, they find like a plant or something, or a seed, and um, Shohei gets blown away by it, like literally blown away across the room, and it does something to his mind, and he sees visions, and for some reason he get, has like a, a spiritual connection to Queen Amati, and he says, oh, Queen Amati is calling me, she needs my help, and his scientist friends think he's crazy, I thought that was pretty interesting, I'm just like... I think he has a big role to play at some point in the show. Um, he's not seeing these visions for no reason. Uh, and he's, he actually, he's actually seeing these visions. But his friends think he's crazy because he's writing these diagrams on the, on the whiteboard. He's acting ridiculous. He's not acting normal. But actually, something important is happening. And uh, I guess maybe Earth is an important planet in this storyline. I assume the storyline will go to Earth at some point. So I'm intrigued. There are still eight episodes left so uh there's plenty that can happen but i enjoy it. i'm enjoying it so far uh, there's so many interesting characters um interesting uh premise and you obviously got diner and cosmos joining the fray as well so yeah and at this point guy and juggler are still friends but the jealousy is probably starting to build up slowly and surely but i just like the friendship vibe <laughs> I, I like the fact that juggler's being supportive in this one so far <laughs> so far he's still a good guy so far but he does become good again at the end of orb and at the end of zed so we'll, we'll be all right but uh yeah i, I thought that was uh this show is fun so far i just hate the fact that i've watched episode four and it's a cliffhanger i'm just like how could you do this to me so that's my review hope you enjoyed it and let me know uh anything down below uh, just no spoilers, please, for the future episodes. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it.